Hello and welcome to DIY Upholstery Supply, Ask the Expert. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a spring stretcher. Um, it's for no sag springs. Uh, some people call them sinuous springs. Some people call them serpentine springs. Some people call them S-shaped springs. But the actual name is sinuous. Uh, the brand name uh, no sag is a brand name but the actual name for the spring is a sinuous spring anyways this is our 268 spring stretcher this spring helps pull seat springs into place it's a, a very handy tool does a really good job first of all you have to if you zoom in over here on this spring here I, it's already attached with a EK clip it can be attached with an EK clip or a G clip. Make sure that you have it tacked all the way down so it won't pull out as you're stretching it with this. And use a pair of safety glasses and a pair of safety gloves. I have mine right here. It's really important. These springs can be sharp at the ends and stretching anything has a tendency to malfunction and you don't want to have your hands open or you no, have no safety glasses on when you're uh, working with these springs. It's very important. Anyhow, I'm going to come over here. As you can see, I have an EK clip already tacked into place. I'm going to get this spring ready. How you do it is you get the spring that you're going to apply. You put it put this hook on the second loop just like this if you can zoom in on that okay actually I've got it upside down so everybody have a quick giggle and Chris will get it right this time okay here's the proper way to have this hooked take a quick look you bend your you bend you bend you bend your wedge back and put it on the edge of your rail. Then you start to pull and drag your spring over the top, over the top of the hook, and let go. Your spring is in place. That would be very difficult to put on barehanded, as some of you already know. Anyways, the spring, the spring, the part number is 268. It's available on our website, www.diyupholsterysupply.com. Thanks for watching.